Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number 7. This is more Blender user interface. Okay? And we've learned navigation, rendering, some lighting, all basic material just to get you ready for more advanced stuff. Okay? And we're going to learn uh, splitting the user interface uh, to create more windows. Okay? Um, up here we have our this I in this uh, window means interface options we have all these across here and if you notice when we go across here it creates a double arrow we can drag this window down and we notice we have almost hidden button type okay and we can we can go to model which is our default scene okay we can go to model and go to animation we'll learn this later I really don't use this window much I create my own um, I'll, I'm about to teach you how to do that and we have material okay and it's just all different setups uh, scripting language scripting our cubes and editing and our models are default okay uh, how they split the windows is uh, a lot of people don't know how to do this, so what you need to do is come onto the either come down here or go to the side. Uh, mainly, you would split it here. So once you've gotten onto this and you've got the crosshairs, uh, right click and hit split area. You can split down here, but that would be pointless. Split it up here. Okay, so now we've got the two windows. They're exactly identical. But say we want this to be editing in top view, hit, hit 7. And we want this one to be editing in side view, hit 3. So now if we scroll in, scroll in, and hit edit with the tab key, we can edit verts in this order. You see how this works? So you can see from side view and top at the same time. So we want to uh, see uh, an orthographic view or perspective view we can go in here and break another window and hit 5 on our numerical keypad we can even break another one okay so we can have another view if we want in perspective or orthographic view so all these views split up okay I'm gonna file new erase all it will start us up in the default scene again. If I split this window, I can change the window over here too. I can go from 3D view, which is this, and I can change this side to IPO editor, which we'll do an animation later. Okay, so this is how we split our windows up, and we can learn new uh, new user interfaces. Outliners. The uh, outliner, the outliners uh, view, is what we have in our scene. Our scene is consisting of all of the elements that build up our Blender file. We have our camera and our camera's uh, scene. So it even selects it when you branch down on it. So we have our cube, materials, textures. And then we have our lamp, which is spot, okay? So we have this. You can also use the view and show oops schematic and view this as this, as this chart. You can move these around and just kind of look at what you have for each one. Normally don't use this, just unless you want to demonstrate something. Okay, so we have our oops schematic. And you can join the windows by right clicking and join area. And we get this effect. Join here. Okay. So that's splitting windows. Uh, some more user interface uh, material is this this will oh, this little thing right here. It always will stay here no matter what subcategory or whatever whatever uh, you're in. This is your frame that you're on. If you hit over on this it goes to a new frame 
Well, I can demonstrate this by splitting the area again and opening the IPO curve editor. I scroll out, zoom in and out with the middle mouse button, and drag around with the middle mouse button. It does this as in the 3D view, but you just can't rotate around it. Okay, so this is zero, so we're on frame one. Okay. If I hit over on this, you'll see that our line goes over. Alright. You can do this by using the arrow keys by hitting over on the arrow keys on your keyboard, or you can hit up to skip 10 on the arrow keys and skip down 10 on the arrow keys. You can experiment around and see what you think. Okay, so that was some more basic user interface with Blender. One last thing I will mention though is you can change the way everything looks. Bring this down as before, and go to themes, and come over here where it says default, and hit rounded. And you just changed it, change Blender to a whole nother to a whole nother look. Same thing, everything's the same, just the colors. You can even uh, make your own. You go to rounded and or well add new, and it'll say new user theme, and you can change things around as you want. You can experiment around. I always mess with this whenever I'm bored. You would kind of just want to see what's here. There's plenty of things to do in Blender. You can never learn it all. Okay, so that's that's more basic user interface with Blender. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.